And Time to Say Goodbye, sung by Andrea Bocelli and Sarah Brightman, has topped the chart of the most popular funeral songs. It was followed by Frank Sinatra's My Way and Supermarket Flowers by Ed Sheeran. This morning on the Zoe Ball Breakfast Show. Thank you, Ian. Uh, Kylie's Padam Padam goes next level. A new most popular funeral song. Our breakfast show investigation continues. This one is the top of the indie charts. If I lay here. I'm not really surprised, are you? Snow Patrol chasing cars. If I just lay now, this research has been done by Co op Funeral Care. 93,000 ceremonies over the last 12 months. Some folks actually have been having TV themes and movie soundtracks like Only Fools and Horses. Can you imagine that? Coming into the church and Only Fools, I put a pony in my pocket. Music can be quite a gentle introduction to talking about funerals and talking about death with family and friends. So it can get quite jokey. And I do think music is a really good way of starting those conversations. Somebody else is choosing the music for your funeral. And this is what I think this study is about. You know, a co-op has shone a light on the most popular popular funeral music <clears throat> over the last 12 months conducted over 93,000 funerals. Hymns are back amongst the most popular funeral song boosted by the Queen's funeral. While the Monty Python song Always Look on the Bright Side of Life has slipped out of the top ten, co-op funeral care have made a chart. Mariella Frostrup on Times Radio. Well, I have to say, I'm loving your enthusiasm on the funeral songs. Oh, it's Andre Bocelli and Sarah Brightman. And it's called Time to Say Goodbye. And it's taken over from Frank Sinatra's My Way, which I think is a bit more uplifting. But if you want people to cry at a funeral, then you're probably going to go with the former. Or the number three record, which is Sheeran's um, Supermarket Flowers. You're now texting as in your funeral songs. I'm not sure I want to do this. <laughs> Yeah, oh, no, we I do. love this. Do Come we? On, bring yeah. it on. Funeral songs. Yeah, oh, I they, saw that report. Yeah. They've released the top ten songs most played at funerals, most chosen to be played at funerals. And we've got uh, Russell Watson on uh, opera singer, brain tumour survivor, twice. He's on with us chatting about this because he has a brilliant, brilliant story to tell about the song that was chosen by one of his relatives. And it's such a good story. I really, I don't know if I can tease it. Shall I tease it? Yeah. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. <laughs> Which is just brilliant, and I'm nicking that. I'm having that because my kids would love it.